The way that we transport patient samples from the hospital to the core lab is through a pneumatic tube system, which is similar to the system that you might see at, uh, at a bank when you, when you roll going through the drive through you, you put the carrier in and it has blood samples or phones or whatever it might be in there and, and you push the button to tell it where to go and if you blink you'll miss it. It, it shoots up through this tube system and then it starts winding all over in the building and, and underground, under streets. The exact problem turned out to be that samples being sent through the pneumatic tube system were in some rare cases damaged such that they were not usable for testing. What we noticed is that through a particular tube system route, we had some errors come up in our, in our medical testing. And the mystery was why this route had a particular problem when comparing to the other routes. We had heard that there were devices that could record the forces that a sample would be exposed to during transit through the pneumatic tube system, but we didn't have access to such devices. Well, the idea that we came up with to monitor the, the tube system and find out if there was a difference from this one route was to send a smartphone through the route. Smartphones contain accelerometers. And so we could, we could monitor the forces that phone were, was experiencing during its trip from the hospital to the core lab. So we looked through and tried quite a few different apps. And um, a lot of them would do the same thing, but we found this one that, that has lots of different features. It's called Sensor Kinetics Pro. Uh, I think it's about $2 or something to download. And, um, you can go into what we call this linear acceleration sensor and start it up, right? And the, the thing that sold us on this app is the, the ability to send the data to ourselves electronically so that we can put it in Excel and then really analyze the data a lot closer than just looking at this, this screen. I asked around and solicited to my boss to, to use his iPhone, which he was a little nervous about. When I first heard the idea of sending my iPhone through a tube system, I was appalled, but it seemed like it might be a good, a good opportunity. So I hit start on the app, wrapped it in bubble wrap, and, and put it in the tube system, just hoping it would come out the other end without any problems. And so then I walked the few blocks away to the core lab where we actually do the medical testing, and um, I found someone very confused about why there were some phones coming through the... <laughs> The, the tube system meant for blood samples. When Dr. Mullen's uh, app that he used uh, actually recorded the exact G-forces, or forces, and these forces are about eight times the force of gravity. What we actually found when we sent the phones through the different tube system routes was that the time of travel was much longer in the route in question and the time spent under force was causing the red blood cells to break open and that's what gave us an error in our result. To know that you know, we may be, be onto something that we can monitor the tube system so easily just with an iPhone and that there's so many hospitals that are really potentially may have some of these same problems and this could be a solution all, all over the country and, and all over the world, really.